Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another online battle uh, for me, the Inept General. Uh, today I am playing as Chaos again, led by Sigvald the Magnificent. Uh, I have two greenskin allies uh, along here, along both flanks, and we are up against an Empire army, a Bretonian army, and another Chaos army. Now our opponents here have brought uh, quite a significant uh, amount of firepower here on the Chaos Army. Uh, one Shagoth, one Giant, uh, Kolek, Sun Eater, and then Chosen with Halberds, Chosen with Great Weapons, just Chosen with Shields and Axes, again the same, and another Chosen with Halberds, with some Dragon Ogres in the back. Now, Having seen this, I was quite a little bit shocked having three Hell Cannons facing you down. I knew my own Hell Cannon wouldn't very last very long, but uh, let's see how the battle goes, shall we? So, as well as the three Hell Cannon on my facing me directly, uh, the opponents also have, I think that's three units of trebuchets. Uh, and got four mortars here at the front so that's a lot of artillery for us to be facing down now I knew I was going to get hammered so immediately I started moving my idea was to join my ally in a charge down the center um, but the chaos our chaos opponents here aren't going to sit back with their hell cannons they are charging right up and it seems as though they're trying to charge into the green skin army here for some reason I'm not 100% sure why they did that, um, but that's the decision they tried to make. My cab and all my fast moving units are trying to shut down these hell cannons as quickly as possible. So I've sent the dogs, a uh, unit of halberdiers just to back them up in case anything anti large comes after them, but they'll take a while to catch up. Uh, my dogs, my two units of cav, chaos knights. Yeah, wonderful uh, flaming trails there. And my two units of dragon ogres to help them out. Now, what ends up happening is here in the middle, my opponent bumps into the green skin, and bumps into my army trying to reposition himself, uh, which just ends up in a huge melee over here with a uh, signal in the middle, making his stand. Not getting a huge amount of kills yet, but we're putting a good effort and a good lot of damage there. Uh, yeah, so essentially all my melee engages with all his melee right here in these huge clumps. Now, the Hell Cannon at the moment is kind of firing in and around but missing. And soon, actually, the Hell Cannon changes target, which I get was to avoid friendly fire, but I just had all my infantry blocked up. So it was terrible decisions for me. Uh, then again, I did not call myself the Inept General for no good reason. Sometimes I do make a lot of my own mistakes. I'm by no means a pro at this, but hell, I enjoyed the hell out of this game, and I thought others might enjoy watching me play it too. Now, in the woods, we are engaged by some Demigod Halberds. I realize that, I start pulling back. And over the horizon there, we have my own Halberd, so I'm just trying to pull back enough to where my own Halberds can engage these Demigod Halberds. And the Empire Allies has actually done a great job here, just protecting these three Hell Cannon. Just sent over a couple of Halberdier units, um, but I have engaged them with my chosen infantry, which took a battering on the way there the from the Hell Cannons. Now the green skins are immediately to my right, uh, very much trying to focus down Kolek, Dragon Ogres, Giants, Blackhawks are taking a hammering. They do have some Savage Orb Figgins, which will help them take these guys down, the large pieces down, and their Arachnid, of course. Now, on the right-hand side, this was a much more different engagement. Uh, my Greenskin ally here is staying at, just out of range. You can see just out of range of all those longbows. And then just letting his Doom Divers do, do, it, do their work. Pegasus Knight's coming in on one of the Doom Divers here, and on the other, actually, just probably routing them off. But I think if he hadn't done that, this player would have been quite happy to sit there and just let them uh, bombard them, but here's their general coming in with the Wyvern, trying to scare away one of those Pegasus Knights. They've routed the Doom Diver off. Doom Divers in the center are still there. They're alright. 
I think a few players, uh, when playing multiple versus multiple, can get it in their head just to focus on the opponent across from them. But if this Bretonian army had just sent these Pegasus Knights to deal with these Doom Divers as well, it would have really helped out uh, the Empire in the center. Now, essentially here, I'm still playing uh, Silly Buggers with the, uh, the Demigriff Halberd. Uh, they've engaged one of my Dragnodes, which are also anti... Well, uh, they're not anti-large, but they, they do some good work. Uh, these halberdiers have seen off these uh, demigriff halberds and will we'll get set upon uh, the other one there. Meanwhile, the Chosen doing a good job on these halberdiers. They'll be done soon. They'll engage the other one. And then we can get in to these cannons and the soft rear of these trebuchets. But we need to get allies. We've eventually got his money, his army uh, moving up here through the middle. His doom divers are still going strong. The Pegasus didn't end up engaging them. Uh, they're instead keeping, trying to just shut down this one, and I believe this player is mostly focused on his micro over here, engaging the Empire, uh, and is not really noticing that the Pegasus have come back and have just started attacking his army. But th he's started to move against their infantry over here, they're making their move. Uh, now back in the middle, where most of my infantry is engaged, is essentially... Both sets of our infantry have ground each other down to nothing, essentially. I won't have a lot of uh, infantry left uh, after this. But those halberdiers have now been engaged, allowing my cav to finally come round, shut down one of these halberdiers, and they'll be joined by my other cav, and the halberdiers uh, left. Now, we were quite lucky in the fact that my opponent uh, seems to have forgotten these halberdiers, which did rout, uh, but they came back. And it's not till much later in the battle he gets them going. So they could have probably shut down at least one of my Chaos Knights in this game. But here we go, I've got my Dragon Ogres. I'm going to just to take out the Trebuchet. And they'll make swift work of those. Bashing these horrible machines. Dishonorable machines for the Kessel Tree. Um, Smokerines. Those mortars are still firing. A lot of artillery damage will take them. And no one's really made it down the middle. So eventually my army's freed up now. Uh, that's their, those guys all routing. And my hell cannon was accidentally moved into melee there early on. Terrible micro on my part, but uh, yes. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't do that. That was a terrible mistake by me. Uh, but they would they'd probably be targeted down if they hadn't done that by them anyway. By the three hell cannons on the other end. Essentially, I'm moving the remainder of my uh, military, of my infantry, through the middle to engage the Empire. And all my cab and mounted units have now come round the back, engaged all their trebuchets, and are now taking them all down as quickly as we can. On the right hand side, this Bretonian force has been engaged. Mostly taken out at this point, some big work for Arachna. Uh, the Celestial Wizard, or the Lady uh, the Damsel, that's it, the Damsel casting that lightning on the Texan. Looks great. Uh, Arachna versus the Pegasus. Well, that's really the best matchup. Pegasus Knights aren't really built for long term melee. They're more. They are shot. They are the shot um, Charge them in and get them out of this game. So we have brought uh, King Lua, who's doing uh, his bus, his uh, boost, which I think lowers enemy leadership. And thus he managed to wrap huge amounts of the enemy of the goblin uh, and or uh, infantry. Now these ball boys don't last long against this rail knife, but maybe he's just trying to hold them up. Now most of these uh, will come back. It's just it was a very well-timed uh, boost from King uh, Luan Liokur there, helping their terror take effect. Now my Dragonover and Cav are down here just trying to chase down some missile cavalry. My Dragonovers are, are engaging their front line from the rear. Just trying to make themselves as useful as possible. Sigval putting a respectable 46 kills at this stage. Fighting off the great swords. 
and I'm taking a lot of damage from some missiles on that side, the drag logos, chasing them down. the battlefield. Everyone's tied up in Billy. Still got a lot of that Arachnorox on the field. Chaos Knights nice trying to do as much work as they can, where they can, against missile crews, against um, artillery crews and uh, missile units. Uh, and for the most part, the battle's happening all over the place. As you can see, those uh, Demigods of Halberds were never called back into use. I might have a couple of units here idling. I think I was just looking for uh, what's going on here in the center, trying to get a moment of this board as well as we can. Uh, and Sigvald, got gone up to 59 at this point. Again, some handgunners. Tony has still got some respectable amount of army here. Pegasus Knights. I don't know what they're all. Hacking, if anything. Hmm, that's strange. I don't remember this happening in the battle. I'm not sure what this player was thinking. Maybe they're trying to ride down Grimble or something. But anyway, at that point, it looks like they shattered due to losses. And uh, it was a good victory. It was a bit of a chaotic battle, as I said. Far from my best. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, do leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, uh, please do leave some uh, positive criticism. Let me make some uh, better videos in the future. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope you all have a great day.